I want to do another video on this Friedman Runt 20 before it goes home because I put something in the, uh, yesterday's video that wasn't quite correct. Turns out um, I had a bad ca uh, connection on the uh, foot switch cable. And for whatever reason, it was throwing the master volume way off. So I'm going to delete that video because it had some information that might lead people to think that the master volume did not work very well on this amp, and that would be an unfair thing to do. So I've got it turned down to quiet gig levels. So clean. Now that's kind of a plexi sound. If I go higher gain on this thing. Now, some people in yesterday's video said the amp was a bit harsh to their ears in my video, and I, I can un understand that. So let me turn it down to some smoother settings. That noise on the presence pot is normal. It's uh, something that a lot of marshals do. It's just uh, one of the ways to do presence, and this is the classic one, gives you that little bit of noise. <laughs> Now that is with the master volume on the gain channel, just above nine o'clock, uh, which is about as loud as uh, will hang with the clean channel, uh, given that the clean channel doesn't have as much output as the dirty channel. And you can hear there that even that was still an imbalance. You know, I should turn the master down a little bit if I wanted to match this on stage. But whenever possible, use the master volume as little as possible. It does sound better th with the master higher. Um, I'm not nuts about the taper of the master volume in this, in that most of the change happens below 10 o'clock. I, I think you use the linear taper pot. 
and I would prefer to have a more gradual change throughout the range. Uh, let me demonstrate that as uh, long as my ears will allow and the mic free. So here's Master Full Up. <laughs> Here's about one o'clock. About ten o'clock. And then below ten o'clock, we'll begin to hear those changes. So it gets loud by nine o'clock on the master. Here's just a hair over nine o'clock. And that's part of the fun of using a hollow body guitar with unpotted pickups a foot and a half from the speaker. But, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to play, but seriously, that uh, master uh, has a relatively narrow range of useful control, and in order to go between the clean, in a balanced kind of way, you have to have that master pretty low. Again, that's just about 9.30 uh, on a clock position. And for those for whom, you know, that doesn't sound like a 4x12 cab. No, it doesn't. I'm sure Dave would tell you the same thing. It's a 1x12 open back cab. It's a good compromise for most people, but it's not going to replace a 4x12 in terms of the sound. So it's not the same sound, but it's a different good sound. 